Isaac rattled off theories about the universe as fast as my father could write them down. In fact, my father seemed to be a true inspiration to the scientist. Everyone who hasn't been living in a cave has heard the famous story of Sir Isaac and the Apple. Well, if it weren't for my dad, the word gravity wouldn't even be in the English language. If we accept the theory that the planets do circle the sun in an elliptical orbit, we have to ask the question, why? What keeps them moving in that pattern? Why? Take notes, Humphrey. Do you realize what just happened? Yes. It just smashed my head into this tree. Do it again. You won't? OK, but... Shake the limb. Oh. There. Another one. And do you know why it fell? Yes, I think I loosened the wall. No. no. The apple fell. Because the Earth attracted it. The Earth attracted the app. Maybe I should have a look at that bump on your head. Think about it. Maybe the moon falls in the sky like an object falls on the Earth. What if one and the same force pulls the apple to the Earth and keeps the moon in its orbit? Sounds like a bit of a stretch to me. Newton? Hook. Are you still the ringmaster of this circus? So you're here to expound on your great discovery, Newton. Something about an apple. I can't wait to find the wormholes in it. Like the apple falling from the tree, the moon falls like any object on Earth. If the moon did not constantly fall towards the Earth, then it would move in a straight line and fly off at a tangent to its orbit. We'll call this the law of universal gravitation. Everything in the universe attracts everything else. Now that's one of Newton's laws my father could relate to. Are, if the distance between the Earth and the Moon were twice as far, the gravitational pull between them would be one quarter as great. The gravitational force between two bodies is calculated by what I call the inverse square law. In other words, the force attracting planets to the Sun decreases with the square of their distance from the sun. <laughs> Mathematically, this theory is represented by the equation where F is the gravitational force, capital M and lowercase m are the two masses. That is all. Stop it, both of you. Stop! Write this down. I beg your pardon? Make notes. Observe. When no force acts on an object, it will remain in a state of rest. <laughs> 